Rock and roll in Pottstown, don't they? Yes! Thank you. I understand this is Hall and Oates country. Is that right? I'd just like to leave you with a song that a good buddy of mine, I hadn't sung it for a very long time, but a good friend of mine named Larry Norman wrote. And we've all been through a lot of changes, I think, in the last few years. I know I have. And the thing that the Lord has been doing the most with me is he's been breaking me before he's been blessing me. And he's been crushing me before he's been crowning me. And he wants me to know I'm convinced the reality of a Calvary in my life before I ever know the outpouring of a Pentecost. 
See, it costs something to follow the Lord. And today in this country, we're, give, we're giving people... Someone shoot that duck, will you? And it costs something to follow Jesus. And I want you to know that with the election and all that we've had go down this last couple weeks here, a lot of important decisions have been made. And religion has been a issue this year, a political issue. Okay, can we have a healing service for that guy? I gotta tell you. I just want you to know it's not a political issue. He's God. And he's not easy propaganda that we hand out on the street corners. His life demands that we live the truth, not just hand leaflets out for him. It's easy to raise your hands. It's easy to clap here tonight and get excited about the Lord. A good pastor friend of mine told me, he says, you know, when Christians all get together in one big pile, they're like manure. They stink. Uh, he said, but if we're spread out over our towns and our cities, we can act as a real good fertilizer. So I hope you're fertilizing pots down for Jesus Christ here tonight. I hope you go away from here tonight, not just with some good entertainment, but I hope you go away uh, realizing that you can make a difference in your town for the Lord. I was born and raised an orphan in a land that once was free, in a land that poured its love out on the moon. And I grew up in your shadows, of your silos filled with grain, but you never helped to fill my empty spoon. You kill a black man just for talking to your daughter and you make his wife your mistress and you leave her without water and the sheet you wear upon your face is the sheet your children sleep on and at every meal they say a prayer they don't believe but still they keep on and your says in God we trust but it's against the laws to bring the school you say we beat the Russians to the moon and I say you starved your children to do it we are far across the ocean in a war that's not our own and why we're gonna lose the one at home. The politicians all make speeches, and the newsmen all take notes, and they exaggerate the issues as they shove it down our throats. And your money says in God we trust, but it's against the laws to pray in school. You see, we beat the Russians to the moon. And I see you starve your children to do it. It's important for us as Christians to speak out on issues, and I'm glad that we're running into issues such as Central America, Nicaragua, and abortion, and so forth. But war is an ugly thing, but I want you to know there's a spiritual warfare going on around us right now that a lot of people are oblivious to. And instead of just taking a human life, they are capturing human souls, and hell is too populated already. And I hope that you'll get out and you'll take this message of Jesus Christ to the people that need to hear it. I want to ask yourself a question. What was the last time you witnessed to somebody? What was the last time you let somebody get close enough to your life to feel your heartbeat? And to realize that your heartbeat is linked to Jesus? 
We're so comfortable and complacent in this country. We're so over-Christianized and so familiar with spiritual things that we've become dormant spiritually. And your money says in God we trust, but it's against the laws to pray in school. They say you beat the Russians to the moon. And I see you starve the children to do it. You see, all men are equal, all men are brothers. Then why are the rich more equal than others? Don't ask me for the answers, I've only got one. That a man leaves his darkness when he follows the sun. Follow Jesus. Thank you. Good night. God bless you.